Do you want to skip unsightly and expensive plastic pots and start using environmentally friendly paper pots, but you're reluctant to spend the money on a paper pot maker? Today I'll show you how to make used paper pots using things already in your home. Now these plastic pots can be quite convenient and you don't have to buy them. If you buy other things you can get them anyway. Uh, but uh, they're plastic and uh, yeah, not too good for the environment. And if you bring them to your garden and you forget them there, they'll start to break down and just spread all over. Uh, that's no good. Uh, there are several uh, advantages to using newspaper pots. Uh, you can make them for almost no money at all. Uh, I use uh, free newspapers, so they don't really cost me anything in materials. They're cheap, they're biodegradable, and you can plant them directly into the ground. They will uh, rot away and the roots will grow through them. I bought this pot maker a few years ago on half price, and uh, I think I still pay too much. Uh, the images on the box showed a different wood than this. Uh, this is spruce, and it's really cheap and it's not very well made. Uh, spruce is not good for uh, turned wood. So, and uh, usually these are much more expensive, but they're made of better wood, uh, waxed oak and things, and uh, quite nice objects to have. But, as I said, can be quite expensive. Now, this does work. Uh, almost didn't to begin with, because it wasn't square at the bottom, but uh, I fixed that. And now it's a functional uh, piece of equipment. Uh, one downside of this is if you buy one of these, it's quite small. The pots turn out like this, and uh, that's perhaps enough for one pea or one tomato plant or something. But uh, eventually you, you might, might want to uh, transplant to bigger pots, or you might want to plant pumpkins. And these are not enough, so you have to buy another one. So that's a bit more money. Uh, it got me thinking, and I started to look around at home and uh, just see what do I have that I can use to make uh, paper pots? So I uh, just found a few uh, cylindrical objects here uh, that might be uh, of use. So we'll try this out. First I'll uh, demonstrate how it works with the proper pot maker. I have some uh, newspaper here, some uh, free tabloid Cutting these uh, one page into strips of four is usually uh, enough for the ones I make. So uh, I have one prepared here and I uh, found the easiest way is just using a large kitchen knife to split this up. If we take a look at a wooden pot maker, this is how they look. It's a turned piece of wood uh, with a bottom piece here and it's hollow and it fits over there. So what you do is you take a piece of paper. This is a piece of just a one page cut in four. That's uh, usually the right size for this kind of pot maker. So we uh, fold this edge just to strengthen it a bit. Then we roll it. I usually fold this seam in first. Seems to give it a little bit uh, more stability. So it's folded in here and you take this bottom piece and you just press lightly. And it sort of folds in here and yeah, it makes quite a steady pot. Now, however, is there another way of doing this? Uh, can we make this with something else? Uh, let's try a few things here. Uh, I mostly have found some uh, glass jars and uh, some, some baby oil and uh, just an empty uh, loo roll. And they're uh, roughly the size, same diameter as this. Now, uh, one advantage of just 
using anything is if you want some bigger pots you can just uh, try to find it something that's the proper size let's begin with um, this one it's uh, plastic so it's quite smooth it's uh, probably quite easy to slide this off so let's try you usually want to leave enough just about almost the, the uh, same diameter as what you're uh, using because you want it to, to <coughs> cover the bottom properly so that should be enough now the big difference is we don't have the bottom piece to, to stamp it down on so let's see if it works anyway. So, slides off quite nicely. However, it's a bit, it's not as tidy. Now, if it, you can just get these to stand, that's no problem. Plants don't really care if it's tidy enough. So, it's not pretty, but I'm sure this will uh, hold some uh, sowing compost and a plant and it will stand up to just a few weeks of the use because that's usually all you need now uh, let's try something else we'll try the uh, empty loo roll this will probably won't slide off as easily so I won't um, roll it too tightly Now, since this is uh, doesn't have a flat bottom, it uh, folds in quite easily. Well, that's not bad at all. That's actually pretty good. Now, uh, <clears throat> we could uh, try some other things. I'm pretty sure this will work uh, about as well as the uh, baby oil bottle. But, it gave me an idea. This is probably the better one. So. Do it like this. Just make another one. Look neatly, same way. Then ah, that fits quite nice. So That way, it seems like we have um, quite efficiently simulated one of these for no extra money. Now that's uh, almost the same result as this. Well, actually, this one. Yeah, <laughs> they're pretty good. So, seems like you don't really need one of those. Uh, if you find out you have too few pots and you um, need quite a few more and you don't have enough plastic pots and you want to get started today just uh, find some uh, smooth cylindrical objects perhaps a loo roll and a, a matching uh, jar and you can make quite a few bottles uh, or quite a few uh, pots today now I'll say this uh, this is not an unnecessary piece of equipment even this uh, pretty basic ugly yeah, cheap one. It's good. It works. It's it's uh, easier to work with that when uh, than these. And if you want to make quite a lot of these, perhaps it's uh, worth worth the investment. And do they do make uh, quite nice uh, ones uh, of uh, oak, waxed oak, um, FSC wood things. Uh, they're quite nice. I wouldn't mind having one of those if I had a lot to to do. But uh, you could improvise. And uh, get quite far with that. So, in conclusion, do you need one of those? No, you don't. Uh, you can use alternative objects from around the home. Um, if you're doing a lot of these, a lot of these pots, it might be worth the investment. But if you want to get going today, 
if you're out of plastic pots or just want to get just try it out you can improvise and make it just out of anything and uh, yeah newspapers don't have to cost anything so it's uh, cheap it's environmentally friendly uh, what's not to like now if you like this video uh, please like share and uh, subscribe and uh, thanks for watching